Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be reading one of my favorite books. It's called Moses Goes to a Concert by Isaac Millman. Moses plays on his new drum. He can't hear the sounds he is making because he is deaf, so he can't hear anything. But he feels the vibration of the drum through his hands. He has taken off his shoes, so he can feel it through his feet, too. Today, Moses is going on a field trip. His teacher, Mr. Samuels, is taking him and his classmates, who are all deaf, to a young people's concert. As the children climb onto the bus, they wonder what is inside Mr. Samuels' black bag. A big surprise, signs Mr. Samuels. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Do you have a guess? On the bus, Moses signs to his friend, John, my parents gave me a new drum. John signs back, I got one too. Children from all over the city are coming to the concert. Moses and his friend John wait for their class to get off the bus so they can go inside together. Mr. Samuels leads them to their seats in the front, front row. Across the stage, in front of the orchestra, are all the percussion instruments. Hmm, did you notice that the percussion instruments are in front of the orchestra? That's different, because normally the percussion instruments are at the back behind everyone else. I wonder why it's different like that. We'll have to find out. Children, the percussionist is a friend of mine, signs Mr. Samuels. What's a percussionist? Anna signs back. A musician who plays an instrument such as a drum, cymbals, or even a piano. That's called a percussionist. A young woman walks onto the stage. Everyone stands up to applaud. Some of Moses' classmates wave instead of clapping, like this. The percussionist smiles and bows to the audience. She has no shoes, signs Moses in surprise. The teacher smiles and signs, she is deaf too. She follows the orchestra by feeling the vibrations of the music through her stocking feet. Then Mr. Samuels takes 11 balloons out of his black bag and hands one to each of his students. Oh, what beautiful balloons, signs Anna. Hold them on your laps, signs Mr. Samuels. They'll help you feel the music. They're going to hold their balloons while they listen to the orchestra and feel the vibrations. The conductor turns to face the orchestra and raises his baton. The percussionist strikes the huge gong and the concert begins. The percussionist watches the conductor and moves from one instrument to the next, striking each to make a sound. Hitting is striking. Moses and his classmates hold their balloons in their laps. They can feel the music as their balloons pick up the vibrations. There they are, holding their balloons. When the concert is over, Mr. Samuels has another surprise. He takes the children on stage to meet his friend, Ms. Marjorie Elwin. She will tell you how she became a percussionist, signs Mr. Samuels. I became seriously ill at the age of seven, signs Ms. Elwin, and when I recovered, I found out that I had lost my hearing. I was deaf. What did you do then? Signs Moses. So she told them that when she got sick as a kid, she lost her hearing, so she could no longer hear. I worked hard. 
my heart was set on becoming a percussionist. And I did. So she persevered. She didn't give up. Now you can play on my musical instruments, Ms. Elwin signs. Come with me, children. Anna plays on the marimba. It's kind of like a big, fancy xylophone like we have, but bigger. Beverly strikes the triangle. Mark pounds the floor tom and the cymbal. Diane beats the tom-toms. John hits the snare drum. And Moses thumps the bass drum. Thump, thump, thump. David strikes the gong. Tommy and Susie play on the tubular bells. While Steve bangs the kettle drum. And Maria plays the congas. We have a conga drum. Children, we have to go, Mr. Samuels announces after a while. Ms. Elwin has to get ready for another concert. Moses and his classmates sign, thank you. And they wave goodbye to Ms. Elwin. On the bus on the way home, Moses signs, it was so much fun. That night, Moses tells his parents about the concert. Here is what he says. When you set your mind to it, you can become anything you want when you grow up. A doctor, artist, teacher, lawyer, farmer, electrician, or actor. I want to become a percussionist. And at the end of our book, it shows you how to sign all the letters of the alphabet in sign language. So if you want to try some of those, I know it's a little tricky to see, you can pause your video and try practicing the alphabet in sign language. So in Moses Goes to a Concert, since they can't hear the way we do with their with ears because they're deaf, they have to feel the vibrations because we've learned from your teachers and from our music lesson this week. We know that everything that makes sound has to vibrate. That's what sound waves are. They're vibrations. So they each got a balloon. Wait. They got a balloon. And they hold it with their fingertips like this in their lap when they went to the concert. And when all the instruments started to play and the sound waves came out, they hit the balloons and that shook the balloon. It started to vibrate and they could feel the music in their fingertips. I wonder if you could play some music on your laptop and you could find your speakers and feel, if you can feel your computer vibrating when you play music on your laptop or on your phone. Maybe you could go around the house and see if there's something that you could use in place of a balloon that you could put near a sound. Maybe your voice or maybe near a speaker that's playing music. And maybe you can feel vibrations through something else besides a balloon. Well, if you find something around your house, you should Go ahead and post about it and tell me and share with your classmates in the music channel on Teams. Until I see you and chat with you on Teams, if you have any questions, you can post in the music channel or send me an email anytime and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I miss you guys. Keep up the good work and try to do as much as you can of what your teacher tells you online. And I hope I get to see you again before too long. Bye, second grade.